Welcome back everyone for the next part of Devil Survivor 2. In the last part I attempted to get Makoto to level 3, but uh, she didn't quite reach the level. So how about we're going to spend some more time with her and then uh, hopefully she's going to reach level 3? I mean, she should be really close, right? Makoto's choice. What are you deciding, Makoto? Makoto's talking on her cell phone. This sector's clear, but it could be a ruse. Be sure to scout the perimeter as well. What are you doing? I'm on my way. Stay sharp. Huh? Makoto, what are you doing? Oh, hey. We're tracking Ronaldo. There's been some disturbing intel coming in. The situation's getting worse. We have to stop him. Yeah, I guess he's stealing more and more food, right? I'm just not sure I can. Uh... Are you having a second thought? Honestly, yes. I know Gyps isn't wrong, but I can't say Ronaldo completely is. Mm. Over here! Run! Quick! Hmm? <laughs> We've got a man down! Damn it! Wait. Multiple people dash fast. What are they running from? What on earth? Aren't those rioters? What are they doing? Oh, demons. Oh. oh. Shit, we're trapped. Uh, what are you guys doing with those demons? You're joking, right? Our only option is to ask Chips for help. That's stupid. We're rioters. They'd rather see us all dead. What about the child? They'd have to save him. He has nothing to do with this. Not a chance. You know damn well Gyps doesn't care about civilians. What are they planning? There's no way out of this place. Oh, God. No. no stay back. I don't want to die. Damn. 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 There's no way out. Hey, calm down. If there's no way out, you just need to create a safe formation. At least protect the child, right? Go into a tear formation. Demons. If we don't do something, they'll be killed. I know, right? That's why I'm saying go into a tear formation. That is the safest spot you can make right now. And I don't see anyone with evil rave around. So that would be your best bet. Ah, okay. You know what? Let's just save them. I don't think they realize what they're supposed to do. I'm a chips agent. I can't help rioters. But the humans first. Hey. Uh. Believe in yourself, Makoto. Believe in myself? Yeah. Makoto looks to be deep in thought. This feeling. I need to save them. Is this the path I should follow? I can't rely on others' ideals. I have to decide for myself what's right and wrong. Exactly. We've got a breakthrough! Brace yourselves! No! No, you need to go into a defenseless formation. You have a child you need to protect. Got it. We have to protect the kid. Exactly. You're not supposed to spread out like Stand that. Stand down! How are you guys able to heal yourself up if you're so far apart? Don't waste your lives. Fall back for now. You're, you're a chips agent. Why would Chips come to save us? That's not important. Fall back. Leave this to me. And me. But at least I don't really need to fight. Ah, now you can Incredible. go into the T formation. They just annihilated him. <laughs> See that? You had. You should have chose this formation from the start. Thank you, ma'am. You saved us all. Well, not exactly. I never thought Chips would help us. Thank you. <laughs> I knew Chips ain't all bad. Huh? I can't believe I saved them. Me. <sighs> Sorry. I'd like to be alone for a while. I'll catch up later. Is something wrong? Makoto? 
Oh, Makoto. But this was the right decision. You can't just let them die just because they are bad guys. Makoto Sako, uh, Makoto Sako has finally reached level 3. Which kind of fusion am I being unlocked now? Chun Dark! That's kind of fitting for her. I must say, it's kind of fitting. An explanation. Demon's origin at loss. Tokyo Souvenir. You know what? I would kind of like to have an explanation, Anguished One, about what happened beforehand. Why the hell did you attack Otomo? You spot a familiar looking man up ahead. Uh, hey, it's him! Yeah, Daichi. That's why I selected it. Hello, Shining One. How are you feeling? Betrayed, stabbed in the back, all of that. But overall, pretty great. <laughs> Is that so? I'm glad to hear it. You have no idea what kind of trouble we're in now. Ah, yes. It would seem Yamato Hotsui has informed you of his true intentions. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry you're in such a position. I tried to stop him. Alas, to no avail. You tried to stop him? Don't tell me that's why you attacked the Tsutenkaku. It was. The switchboard for the terminals is located there. So you tried to stop Yamato? Yamato Hotsui was in Sapporo. Had he been unable to return, Alioth would have killed him. You wanted to kill Yamato? But Yamato is our ally! Is he? His goal is to use Polaris's power to revive the world. Yeah! Do you see? After that, this world will be based on a merit system, just as he desires. Well, maybe we could talk him out of that. Whoa, 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 hold on, stop, cease, desist. That's the part I don't get. How is he gonna use Polaris? What is Polaris in the first place? Polaris is a supernatural entity that humans such as yourselves cannot begin to comprehend. Unbeknownst to mankind, there exist multiple worlds besides this one. Polaris's power affects all of these worlds, not just the one in which you live. She's an entity who manages and administrates these countless parallel worlds flawlessly. The decree of Polaris from Heaven's Throne decides the fates of all these worlds. Wait... Does that mean she can even change the world? It would be nothing to her. She has absolute authority to intervene in any world. Intervene? Absolute authority? Are you for real? Is it so unbelievable? Haven't you seen many unbelievable things in the past few days? That's kind of true. <laughs> A global calamity, demons walking the earth, the septentrions, and so on. And you, flying in the sky in a blue aura, snapping away demons. Th that's true, but how exactly is Yamato going to revive the world and all that? Well, this world of yours is about to be deleted by Polaris. Yamato Hotsuin can instead take a world unsuited to his wishes, alter it, and produce a new world. Wait... Who exactly are you? Haven't I told you already? I am the Anguished One. But why do you know all of that? And did you help him? I did. It was some time before these incidents. Yamato Hotsuin sought my advice. I gave it to him freely. And why did you decide to kill him? I mean, you planned to kill him in Sapporo. Is that what started all of this? Are you suggesting I am the reason that Yamato Hotsui embraced his ambitions? I am afraid you may be correct. I granted the Hotsui family summoning spells in the past. They have used them to defend this nation. That is why I told Yamato Hotsui of the invasion and planned to observe from then on. However, it seems he never intended to use that knowledge to protect man's free potential. He wishes instead to swear allegiance to Polaris, and use that power to remake the world. Huh. Um, could we maybe meet this Polaris? I will tell you this. You have already defeated five of the Septentrions. Yeah? When the last one is no more, the way to Polaris shall open. Seriously? So, if we can kick the last few asses, 
the world can be changed, even if it's not to Yamato's world? That is correct. However, there is one caveat. Polaris will ask for mankind's will as a whole. She will not grant one man's desire. Oh. Oh, so we're kind of safe from Yamato at least. I mean, if only Yamato wishes for a merit system, then it's not going to happen, right? Are you indeed? Polaris responds to the will of all living beings. Yamato Hotsui is crafty. If he bends the will of many, who knows what he may achieve? Either way, if man's wishes are diffuse, it cannot be taken as the will of the species. Hmm. The man disappears. Hey, wait! Damn, he's already gone. Man, who the heck is that guy, really? Still, if we can meet Polaris, we can get her to change the world. You heard him say that, right? That's why Yamato was going on about creating a new world. Huh. Man, all this stuff about deleting worlds and creating worlds, it's beyond me. You know what? I'm gonna go tell everyone what we heard. Yamato made them pretty nervous, after all. Well... I... Should they know about that? I mean, they could get some crazy ideas. But then again, they are our allies. We shouldn't keep that from them, right? Thanks, Daichi. Leave it to me, man. At least we found a way out of this without following Yamato. Hey! Following Yamato wasn't so bad. He kept us alive, after all. Alright, I'm gonna go give him the good news. Hmm. Daichi leaves. I'm not so sure about that all of this yet. But at least he also reached level 3, which means which kind of demon? Ah, uh, uh, Asura. Cool. Thank you very much. So, now everyone was pretty much level 3 except the Finako, but I don't really care about her. So, <clears throat> how about we are going to go to for maybe more of Sha. Yamato, the chief's inv wait, invite? Wait, Yamato, what are you planning? How good of you to come. I was expecting you. For what? You know, uh... I hope I didn't keep you waiting, but why did you invite me? <laughs> it seems you know why I am here. I have something I wish to discuss. Sure. You understand my ideals, don't you? Uh, well, you did make a few compelling arguments. I'm going to give you that. Clever as always. I want you, now more than ever. What? I'll not mince words. Be my right hand. What? Your achievements leave no doubt in my mind as to your talents. With all your natural ability, how did you remain hidden for so long? It is not worth considering. It's because the old society was structured poorly. They force mediocrity on those with true gifts and treat them as any other imbecile. Then they have the gall to call it right. That's the reality of the old society. Stupidity to its very core. You feel it, don't you? The foolishness? The arrogance? Uh... Well... Sure. As you should. I mean, there are a few people holding other people's down. So they never really achieve their true potential. That broken society is gone. There is nothing blocking your path now. From now on, if you stay with me, your talents will be allowed to thrive. It is for your good and the good of all the world. This, I believe. Everyone is able to achieve their own true potential without getting the whole back? Is that what you're trying to create here? Think about it. I'll be waiting. Huh. Uh, Yamato gives you a hard stare and walks away. Uh, I don't know yet, Yamato. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can see where you're going with this, but I don't know. What is STTP? STTP, also known as some demon transform protocol, lets you send demon to others. This allows you to send demons to teams that are in danger. Team that can use STTP function can be seen on the upper screen. Okay. 
Sounds kinda broken. Thank you very much, Yamato. So, since I was already on Yamato's screen, how about... Boar, maybe Ronaldo. Writer's Rodent. What are they doing? Wounded rioters are ambling past. They seem to be fewer of them than before. Did they receive a few losers? They're too strong. Do we even stand a chance against gyps like this? Of course not. We're getting stronger and stronger. I don't think so. Not with our current forces. We're not done yet. Don't you understand Hotsuin's true nature? He'll use gyps to rule the world and create a society that will decimate the weak. That's not true. Maybe in that world, everyone is allowed to get stronger on their own. If we don't kill him, our comrades will have died in vain. I must say, you kind of changed, Ronaldo. Aren't you all about saving people? You... My goal has never changed. I will not argue with you. Ronaldo. It's impossible to face him with our numbers. We must fall back and reinforce. What are you saying? It may seem impossible, but someone must stand against them now. Men, don't you all hate Hotsuin? Don't you despise Gyps? No. <laughs> well. No. Show walks over. Man, you guys don't look so hot. You trying to get in my way too, Joe? Ronnie. I didn't even see you there. If you're not here to help, then get out of my sight. And if you're here to stop me... What happened to you, man? You used to be cool. Look, I understand how you feel. You don't understand! Until I kill Hotsuin with my own hands, my soul will never rest! What the hell happened to him? I didn't visit him for a while and he suddenly changed so much? Also... He doesn't have to die. Listen to the kid, Ronnie. Look in the mirror. I'm My through God. playing games with you! You don't look like a man who wants to help people anymore. Yeah! You turned into some kind of killer! <sighs> this isn't about justice. It's about you. Shut up. Don't lecture me! <sighs> I... I'm sorry, I... I lost sight of myself. <laughs> Worry not, man. Happens to the best of us. But I can't just let Hotsuin do what he wants with this world. I have to do something. I will do whatever it takes if it means bringing him down. Ah. Huh. Ronaldo walks away with a fierce expression on his face. What happened? The last time I, I was here, he was eating chocolate with Joe. What happened? Is Ronnie gonna be okay? I hope he doesn't try anything dumb. He might, Joe. He might. Joe has a worried expression as he watches Ronaldo walk away. <sighs> well, at least I got ST. Uh, STDP. Right? SDTP, okay. Huh. Well, glad to see everyone is getting along. What is up with this identity? It's been on my mind for a while now. Hmm. Should I check it out? You know what? Let me just quickly create a save. If it's not important, I'm just going to come back to it. And redo my choices. But it's been there for a while now, and I'm kind of intrigued what is that all about. So, identity, what happens? There you are. Hey, kid! Mystery man? The mysterious man approaches you. Been looking for you. I wanted to ask you something. I thought you only appear during dead videos. I noticed you're with Chips, but you're not with them, right? Well, I'm half half, I would say. I'm kinda with them, and at the same time, not so really. But I guess that is, sums it up. That's what I thought. Uh, you don't wear the uniform or nothing. Yeah, kind of. Actually, 
You met my daughter there. She's also a civilian with chips. Uh. Wait, it's your daughter? Your step died. He not quite have no idea. Ivy has sweat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hold your horses, kid. I can't tell you my name, and I can't say why. For now, at least. Oh. Oh. Wait, are you actually Iris' dad? Then again, you gotta call me something. How about Deradeka? Uh, is that a nickname? I know I don't look like much, but I used to be an investigator in Nagoya PD's robbery and homicide unit. Deradeka was my nickname. Oh. I checked into your background, kid. I know who you are now. I'll let you in on a little secret. A year ago, I had to fake my own death. And why did you have to do that? You see, Gyps was closing in on me, and I needed a quick getaway. Are you hiding from Yamato? I don't know if he personally made the call, but give or take. I was the lead investigator in a run-of-the-mill murder, but something about it rubbed me wrong. No human could have made that wound. The higher-ups didn't want to hear it, so they closed the case. I'm the kind of guy who won't stop digging after I start, so I kept investigating. That led me to Gyps and the Hotsuin clan. The Hotsuin live in Japan's shadows. Civilians were never supposed to know they existed. That's what I suspect, in any case. They've been after me ever since. It started getting dangerous for my family. That's why I had to fake my death. So that they leave your family alone, huh? Look, kid, don't tell anyone I'm alive. Especially not my daughter. She's sensitive. I don't want to shock her. Not now. Besides, I hate thinking what chips might do to her if they learned I was still alive. You gotta promise me, kid. Man to man. Sure. I promise. Thanks. You're a stand-up guy. Of course I wouldn't want to distress my cute little Irie. Until things settle. I'm counting on you, kid. Very interesting that the whole time there was a mysterious man event waiting for me at the bottom of the list. Dera Decker walks away. Hmm. So, I still have some more time. Who am I going to spend it with? Wait, he's back already? Dera Decker, what are you doing? Dera Decker is picking a cigarette, but. Off the ground. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that, kid. Smoking kills. You got it? Why are you still hanging around? I, I thought you just disappeared after telling me your name is Dara Decker. Huh. Dara Decker puts the cigarette butt in his mouth and tries to light it, but to no avail. Don't worry, I gotcha. I have fire skills. I stay in the shadows, but I'm always watching over you, kids. Oh. I'm impressed with your skill. <laughs> You're better tamers than half the adults. Thinking about how little I can do makes my teeth grind. Huh. Then, how about you get to summoning? I wish I could, but it's impossible. Civilians are able to summon demons. I'm sure you can do. I can't even see that Nicaea thing. I don't have the innate spiritual mumbo-jumbo. You need to have spiritual mumbo-jumbo? I'm just a normal high schooler. I can do it. Besides, I'm old. I can't even send a text, let alone use those phone apps. That's not an excuse. Wish I could help, but I'm just an old sleuth. What? No, wait. Didn't you see the other civilians? There was that old guy who also was able to summon demons. I'm sure you can do as well. Ah, uh, well, I guess uh, you can leave it to us then. You're pretty reliable. I bet you'd make a hell of a detective one day. Maybe. Wait a sec. <laughs> I think I got an idea. Hmm? Deborah Decker seems to have an empathy. Kid, be at the parking structure in Fushimi tomorrow afternoon. What? If everything goes well, I might have a way to back you guys up after all. Don't forget, kid. Fushimi parking structure. Uh, what are you planning? Dera Decker walks away, excitedly. 
What the hell are you planning? Huh. Well, uh, let's see. I still have time. I guess I still have at least one more event. Being alone. Tater. In the evening. Sure. Okay. Oh, Choco! You find Kata shouting. Why are you shouting at him? The hell were you trying to do? Who asked you to help, huh? But... Shut up. I was gonna kill that demon. It was my demon. My prize. Stay the hell out of my way. Jungo, did you steal XP from him? You know how precious XP is in this world. Ah, ye. Hey, hey, what's wrong, guys? I was fighting a demon when this idiot decided to butt in. Yeah. Goddamn, chef. Once this world's a merit system, I'll crush you like cheap hamburger meat. Uh, oh, so that means you're on Yamato's side with the merit system? But it's dangerous to fight alone. Maybe for you. I'm stronger on my own. It means I don't have to watch out for your sorry ass. Pull that kind of crap again and you'll regret it. Hmm. Huh. Oh, Chunko produced a chawamushi from somewhere and hands it to Kata. Where do you get all that every time? What? Eat this. Maybe something delicious can calm your temper. You jackass! You're the one pissing me off! It's cold, but... It's still delicious. This is ridiculous. You're my friend. That's why I'm gonna stay. <laughs> Aww. Say that again. <laughs> uh, Yo, Chogo, he, he doesn't want to have friends. You're my friend? That's why I'm gonna stay? Oh, Chogo. Friend? What kind of a fantasy you living in? Kata glares sharply. Hey there. Uh, he, he's just worrying about you. I don't need a moron worrying about me. Every one of you. Idiots. Kata Clarsen points at you. Why me? Tell that dumb chef to stay away from me. Why do I need to tell him that? Kata walks away. Kata. I think I screwed it up. Kata hates me now. Chunga watches Kata leave. No, my Kata! You're my assassinator! You kill everything outside! Oh. Well, uh, I guess it's time to head to bed then. It's been a long day after all. Hello, Master. Your hard work today is to be commended. I have taken the liberty of composing a simple summary of your actions today. Would you care to hear it? Of course. Like always. Understood. Well then, let me begin. After waking, you met with Master Daichi and the rest of your allies. Together, you discussed the image of Fukuoka, which you obtained from Master Ronaldo. Shortly after, you conferred with Master Yamato at Shiba Park. There, you learned of Alioth, today's Septentrion. You admirably defended Master Yamato as he collected samples of its toxin. You were forced to cut power to Tokyo Tower to divert the monster. This caused Alioth to acquire a new target and head for Sapporo. Unfortunately, Tokyo's barrier was temporarily weakened as a result. I hope there are no irreversible consequences due to this decision. I trust you thought it through. Later, you retrieved Mistress Fumi's precious memento, a picture of her host family that she had lost during her excursion to Osaka. This alleviated her choleric demeanor and she gladly reactivated the Fukuoka terminal. You learned of the plan to take down Alioth by recreating a feud between ancient gods Shiva and Kama. With the considerable aid of Mistresses Irie and Hinako, you succeeded in resurrecting the gods. You once again came into contact with His Excellency at the Tsutenkaku and thwarted his desires. I understand that it was done to save Mistress Otome, and I am elated that she yet lives, but I cannot condone these actions. Master, I assure you, His Excellency has a grand plan that you cannot possibly conceive as of yet. However, I do ask that you try to see his intentions and accept them. I can't accept him killing Yamato, though. I just can't. Where were we? Ah, yes. You went with the others to Fukuoka. And what did you see there? It seems that Master Yamato claims the Black Scar is the fault of Polaris. In which case, is this Polaris truly to blame for your current turmoil? In the end, you boldly took the field against Alioth's core which had fallen in Sapporo, and slew it. I congratulate you on yet another stunning victory. 
Oh, yes. It appears you already know of Master Yamato's machinations. This wicked goal of his, taking advantage of the destruction to achieve his own desires, it's... it's simply... I'm sorry, Master. I did not mean to sway your opinion. I am curious how you feel about his goals, however. This concludes my overview of the day's events. Well, I don't really know what I feel about those yet. I mean, I can see kind of, I can kind of understand them. In our society, the weak are getting suppressed. Even now, they can, they don't really have the chances like others in order to achieve the true potential. So I guess if he changes that, it would be good. But I don't really know how his merit system is actually going to work, so uh, I'm not I'm not so sure yet. I'm sorry. Ronaldo said he's going to crush the week, which kinda contradicts the thing I think about it, so yeah. May your tomorrow be a nice day as well. God, this is going to be complicated. Anyways, I have a mail from Yamato. With something attached to it, let me just switch. Yamato. Uh, it's barely worth my time, but let me tell you about those humans who were fighting each other. Uh, it's happening in all the cities it's, that still remains. For example, I just heard that some scum were killing each other in Nagoya. It isn't only rational to allow these bottom. Isn't it only rational to allow those bottom feeder to die off? That will leave only the best and the brightest. It's your decision. Oh, they're really far killing each other. But they only do that because they're in this distressed situation, right? That's the only reason why they did that. Oh my god. And Makoto, I have something to ask of you, if you have a moment. It may be silly of me, but after hearing Chief Hotsui's speech, I'm somewhat conflicted. I cannot betray Chips, but at the same time, it felt good saving those rioters together. I don't know what to do. So, if I ever get off track when on a mission, if I ever lose my way, I want you to tell me. You're the only one I can ask you. Uh, oh my god. You're the only one I can ask to do this. Thank you. Oh ye. Yeah. Makoto. Makoto's doubting herself. Yamato's questioning the human desire. I mean, uh, you can't really judge them right now. They're totally in scramble. They're fighting for for their own survival. They are so reckless. Ah, I don't know. The sixth day. Friday's partings. You spent the night at the Chips Tokyo branch. Come on, Makoto! Hey, dude, get up! What the hell, Daichi? I'm asleep. Ha, you liar! You just answered me. But I'm asleep. I can sleep talk, Daichi. Um, good morning. Oh, morning. Sorry to wake you. There's something we wanted to talk about. Did you hear about what Ronaldo did? Wait, what did he do? What about him? Well, remember how Yamato told us about his meritocracy plan yesterday? Yes. I, I think Ronaldo must have heard about it, because he announced he's going to defeat Gyps. He did what? He said something about how he wants all mankind to be equal, and not in a merit system. Yeah, he's already got a big mob ready to go against Gyps in Nagoya. I think they're gonna have it out. What? Wait, but there's no way he can beat Chips. He's up against Yamato. I don't think anyone can come out on top against him. Chips is strong. Super strong. There's no way. We... We have a lot of thinking to do. Huh? About what? Well... I guess the future of the world. The world. It's such a huge thing that it's hard to seriously think about it. That might be true. But remember what you told us, Daichi? About what the man in red said? Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah. 
how if all the Septentrions are defeated, you get to meet Polaris. He said whoever does that can change the world to the way they want it. As long as enough people are on your side. After all, the will of the species. First, you have to prove that you're worth listening to, though. Right? That's the gist of it. At least we'll have to unify our group's opinion. I mean, up till now we beat the Septentrions as a team. We'll have to give her someone's opinion, even if it's not Yamato's, right? We need to think hard about whether or not we can agree on something like that. Huh. You're right. We really need to think about that. That's the truth. The other guys seem to all have their own ideas. We've worked together for so long. I hate that we're fighting like this. I... I guess I can't say that if Polaris listens to the will of the species. We may have to fight. Mm. Do you agree with Ronaldo? Hmm. They both seem so extreme that it's hard to side with either of them. Looks like we need to give this some serious thought. Yeah. Everyone has their own opinions. If we get the time, we should ask about them. Daichi and Io leaves. Well, I already received the invitation from, from Yamato, so I don't really know about that. What is going on? There are no pictures, but there are a lot of people talking. Uh, before I do any... Uh, well, I did already get a save. Mm, how about Kada first? I mean, I kinda distressed Kada, right? I kinda did. You find Kada and Daichi talking about something. Seriously? You really think that? What's the problem with it? I mean, look at it. It's a merit system. If you can't contribute, you're out. So? The useless one should die off. It's more natural anyway. I... I can't believe I'm hearing this. No, Kata. Bad Kata. I don't got time to waste on this. Wait. You're worried you'll get cut off, aren't you? Oh, baby! A little bit. What? <laughs> like that it happened. I'm awesome at what I do. But Daichi, I already removed you from my team. For Kada. Err. Uh... Yeah? And there's no problem. We're done here. Err. Uh... <laughs> That's not what I meant. I... Isn't there some solution where everyone gets along? There has to be another way. We've all been through so much together. True. That's creepy as hell, dumbass. Stuff like that ain't an option. You're getting on my nerves, man. You say you don't want to fight, but you don't have anything better. You keep going on without choosing sides, and you're just going to get left in the cold. Meritocracy or equality, Daichi. Man up and make up your damn mind. Kata leaves. Kata, wait! Oh, hey, dude. Hey, Daichi. Seems like you had some trouble with Kata, huh? You got rejected pretty hard there. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. I've really done it now. Kato won't even listen to me. Ever since Yamato brought up that ridiculous merit system, everyone's been acting weird. It's gonna come down to those who stand with Yamato, those who stand against him. Seems like it. The world's gone to crap, and now the survivors are taking sides. It's depressing, man. Hmm. Tell me about it. I don't really like to see that my group is splitting up like that. <sighs> I wonder what everyone really thinks. I'm not on either side. Yamato and Ronaldo are both way too extreme. Only, well, you heard Keita. Where does that leave me? Is everyone's enemy? How did we get here? How the hell? I can't believe we actually have to worry about this. I missed last week when our biggest problem was entrance exams. All right, to beginning. <laughs> no, come on, this isn't the time to get all depressed. I gotta do something. If I could get everyone to agree on one opinion, It'd have to be a really good one. Hmm. You say your farewell to Daichi before leaving. Ah, Daichi, what are you planning, huh? Wait, I can spend time with them. Why can I suddenly spend time with them? What about Joe and Makoto? What are you guys doing? You find Joe and Makoto talking about something. So like I said, you didn't know anything about what old Yami was up to, right? No, but I followed my own beliefs. There you go again. It's okay to blame stuff on other people sometimes. Still, I did 
some terrible things to you all. Psh, whatever. You must go west, young man. Into the future. Thank you, Akie. Although I'm not a man, and likely older than you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, anyways, what are you gonna do, Makoto? What do you mean? We know what Yamato wants, and we know what shape the world's in, so what are you gonna do? Um... Do you keep bowing to that guy, go to Polaris, set up his meritocracy? Or do you say, to hell with this, and leave Gyps to support a different choice? <sighs> mm -hmm. Corruption and other evils could be done away with in Chief Hotsuin's world. Still, it doesn't seem right to bring about a society where the weak are oppressed. You're not gonna leave Gyps, are you? What? I mean, I... Of course not. Her life belongs to ships, right? You owe them, right? You don't seem like the type who'd let a debt like that go unpaid. What will you do? Do you have any intention of siding with Gyps? <laughs> you know how flaky I am. I'd be the first to go in a meritocracy. That's not true, Akie. You're very intelligent and certainly can be determined. Nah, it's cool. Let me be serious here for a second. What if we really could make a world where everyone was equal and helped each other? <laughs> Does that sound like a pipe dream? Maybe. There'd be no reward for doing your best. Egalitarianism. Do you plan to side with Rinalda? I don't know. Who can say? I agree that helping out your fellow man is a wonderful thing to do, but is that the path to peace? You'll never excel at anything. You'll never be appreciated as you act selflessly. <laughs> That's the thing, huh? You got a point. There's problems with that system, too. You're likely to see people dependent on society and living off others' hard work. Even in this world, before the disaster, that was becoming a problem. I can't say those who never take any responsibility have the right to live. <laughs> That's pretty harsh, Makoto. I suppose I can't deny it. What to do? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Makoto and Joe notice you. Hey, man. Well, I guess everyone has a different opinion. Yeah, seems like it. Joe leaves. Oh, uh, Joe. This isn't easy for me. Yeah, I guess this is going to be complicated for everyone. Even Akie, who's fought at our side this whole time, has qualms about our approach. It's not just him, either. It seems there are other Ronaldo sympathizers among us. At this rate, conflict between those of different beliefs will be unavoidable. If that happens, will I be able to fight? Ronaldo and his rioters are opposed to Gyps, but that doesn't make them evil. To say nothing of potentially having to draw my weapon against my former comrades. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone for a while. Oh man. You say you're for a while to Makoto before leaving. Oh yeah. Wait, you level up from that? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So. Next up, we have, where is it? Hinako and Oto- uh, I don't want to see Hinako. Uh, how about Fumi and Airi? The best combo ever. <laughs> Fumi and Airi. You find Fumi and Airi talking about something. What? That makes no sense. It's just wrong. Is it? Honestly, I don't care either way. Think about it. He calls it a merit system, but really it's just bullying. We can't let that happen. It's wrong. You know I don't care, right? Why do you continue speaking to me? To change your mind, Fumi. To change your mind. It's not like you're the only one I'm talking to. His stupid ideas make no sense. As I've said repeatedly, I don't care. Then you don't care if he sets up his merit system? Nope. Don't see a problem. How can you think that? I don't believe this. Look. I've had it harder than you think. I was poor. Paying my tuition was never easy. That's just it. Wouldn't it be better if people weren't rejected because they didn't have the money or the right circumstances? True. Isn't it unfair that not everyone gets the same opportunities? True. Hmm. I think that's a superficial view. What? Whining about how life's unfair is a loser's excuse. You'd be surprised what you can get if you try. Especially if you do anything to get it. 
I did everything I could to get what I wanted. Those who wouldn't were limited from the start. But... Opportunities don't exist in a vacuum state. If you can't get results, you're a failure. What? Are you stupid or something? That's totally wrong! Everyone tries to live to the fullest. Even the people who don't have the talent to get what they want, they still try. You want to cast them aside unless they get results? There's no way that's right. Even worse, you just brush them off and call them weak. I could never do that. I'm done here. Stupid fool. Hmm. I seem to have upset her. Oh. Hello there. Hey there, Fumi. Fumi noticed you. Want some tea? It's all I have. Uh, sure. If you have some to spare. Alright. Give me a sec while I get the gas going for the burners. I'm sure you could hear her, but it seems the chief and Irie's views are like oil and water. Seems like it. With no point of commonality, it's to be expected that they'll oppose each other. It may come down to there being no other way but to make them listen through force. What? It's a harder method than I'd like, but there is a time factor to consider. Force? You can't just force somebody to join your opinion. Leave Fumi to mutter to herself. Oh, Fumi! What am I supposed to do with you? Hmm? My phone? Hello? It's Yamato Hotsui. Yamato? Uh, what can I do for you? My apologies, but I'd like to call upon your help. You need my help. A surprisingly serious situation has arisen. You seem the best suited to handling it. Uh, well, I'm honored, but what's this I'm about? glad, but my meaning was a bit different. How to explain? This is something my personality would make difficult to handle. Your personality? Uh, so this would be tough for you? <laughs> Head for the festival gate. You'll understand once you arrive. Festival gate? Sure. But I didn't really finish up my talk with everyone. Festival gate... Is it already there? Oh, there's a battle waiting for us. God of luck. A battle with the god of luck. Huh. You know what? I'm intrigued. I'm going to try that. But first of all, I need to make a cut because the part is getting too long. I hope you guys had fun with our little conversation with everyone. Even though I didn't really manage to finish up everyone yet. I mean, there's still Jungo and Ronaldo, but it's pretty clear what they are trying to do. <coughs> uh, Yamato and Io have something to say. Hinako, I don't really care about her, but Otome has something to say as well. So, uh, yeah. I'm also going to check out those guys after fighting the battle, of course. And the next time!